hello youtube welcome to a new video my name is abuze on today's video i'm going to show you guys how i edit my audio portrait inside of photoshop but i'm going to divide the video into two parts on this very first part i'm going to show you guys how i make minor adjustment and color grade my audio portrait inside of camera row and then on the second part of the video which i'm going to post next is i'm going to show you guys how i'll go ahead and edit the image inside of photoshop so without any further ado let's jump into the video so on this uh tutorial let me see which of the image i'm going to use let's uh let us use this particular image and then uh, uh something that you should understand is just like you yeah uh, uh, like you carefully set your camera by shooting in raw and then your color space at adobe rgb so likewise when you come to your camera row the first thing that you have to make sure is set is you have to come over here and click and make sure you are on adobe rgb 1998 and then your depth is not 8 bit is 60 uh, is set to 16 bit because we are going to be uh, editing the image on 16 bit inside of photoshop and then you click ok so uh for the uh minor uh, adjustment we are going to do to this image is uh let's see what we can touch well as for the exposure let's see if we need to do something i don't think there is anything we need to do about the exposure likewise the contrast but as for highlights let's see what you can do about it i think i'm okay with the hi highlights so we don't uh, we don't need to do anything over there so it's always better to take your time and shoot and get your image right from your camera not uh taking a work image and then come over to camera or photoshop and be making unnecessary correction thereby wasting your time so always take your time and take your image properly from your camera so as for our shadow i think we are just going to take it off a little maybe to somewhere around all right 17 is okay and then as for our white let's touch the white and see all right i think i'm okay increasing the whites maybe somewhere here will be nice plus 23 and then uh what you are going to need to touch next is the clarity i think we have to increase our clarity to somewhere around 10 all right 11 is okay and then uh i think basically that's all we need to touch over here and then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to head over to our uh color correction tab here and color grade our image so under our color correction tab you notice we have hue saturation and then luminous basically let's start from hue what hue does is it change your color to another different color so let's uh, touch the blues and see as you can see we are changing blue from its blue to another different color as you can see let's do ctrl z or ctrl or command z and then if you go over to saturation what saturation does, uh, does is it increase or reduce the amount of color as you can see we are taking down the blue entirely or we are increasing the intensity of the blue and then for the luminance what it does is it controls how bright or dark a particular color is so let's uh, make example of the blue so as you can see if you are increasing we are making the blue even more darker and then if we are taking it up we are increasing the brightness of the blue so basically that's how hue saturation and then luminance works so for this image what i'm going to do or what i usually do is i always try to make sure i bring uh, like i make the colors of my image like kind of relate to each other like uh to avoid leaving my colors standing independently on their own because that usually doesn't make sense so what you are uh, what i usually does is try to uh, like bring my colors as closer as possible as i can so let's go ahead and color grade this image so for this image what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to uh start with the blue because of our dress so what i'm going to do for the blue is let's try uh tweaking the color by moving to hue and see if we can change it to another shade of blue that will harmonize with the other colors on the image this is nice but let me try taking the blue down so always try all the options you have 
until you get what you want. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down the color of the blue. I think this is better to me, so it's personal preference. And then for the greens, I'm going to take the greens down because I usually don't like working with greens. So I think I'm going to take the greens to minus 100. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to over to hue. So for the hue, um, I think I'm going to touch the green as well. Maybe to push it somewhere around 50. I think it's gonna work. Somewhere 50. Let's do before and after. Before, after before and after i think this is better to me and then uh the next thing we are going to do is for the blues uh, i think all right let's try this as you can see like the greens and the blue which is her clothes are kind of communicating now so this is better to my eyes and then for the luminance what i think i'm going to do for the luminance is i'm going to darken the blue a little more as you can see maybe we should take it to somewhere around 70. yeah this is okay for me so let's do before after before and after so like this okay for me i'm kind of bringing the color of the clothes like to communicate with the green on the background because if you do enter before and after, you will notice here the blues and the greens are not communicating at all. But if you check the after, you see I'm kind of harmonizing the greens and the blues. So basically, this is what work for me. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is let's brighten the greens a little. Just somewhere like around... 40 like this is okay before after and then uh the next thing that i'm going to do is let's head over to the saturation tab so what i sometimes does is this uh i usually take my orange to like like in almost all my images when i'm editing i usually take the orange to around negative 10 and then let me type 10 here to negative 10 and then i go over to my adjustment tab and then i move to my vibrance and then i increase my vi vibrance to positive 10 that's plus 10. this usually uh works for me so i think basically that's all i will need to do uh color grading this image and uh, if i'm editing multiple images at the same time inside of camera Raw, as you can see i have import, uh, imported uh, multiple images inside of my camera Raw right now so and if i want this particular color grading to uh to apply on the rest of the images above here what i usually does here uh, does is i will make sure i'm selecting the image which i have color graded and then i press command or control a to select all the images and then i come over to these settings and select it and then i go over to sync settings and then this option will pop up so what this means is whatever you check whichever correction you check here will be applied on the rest of the image so for example now i want everything with the exception of saturation if i uncheck everything will be applied on the rest of the image without this saturation adjustment so if you want everything to apply you make sure you check all you want to be applied on the rest of the image and then you come over here and hit okay so everything will just be pasted uh, will be pasted on the other images as you can see let's move to the other uh, images as you can see as you can see everything is pasted on the rest of the image only if you want to like change a particular thing then you come over to your camera raw settings and adjust that particular image independently so 
uh, does it for this part of the video uh, if you like the video please do subscribe and hit the like button as it make a huge difference in supporting the channel and uh, uh, let's see on the second part of the video